Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I am going to do a little experiment. Uh, maybe your chains get dirty. I've seen some people post in some groups and ask some questions like, what do you do to clean your change, especially if you've been milling some, or something that has pitch in it or some sap within it and your chains are getting gunky or maybe there's just you're not getting good oil to your chains and so your chains are getting gunked up and you're wanting to know what can I do to clean them? Well, to be honest with you, I've asked the same question. I don't really know. So today, I'm going to try to figure out what is the best way to clean your chain. I can't promise you these are going to work, but I'm going to try them and I'm going to let you know the show you the results that I get and maybe this will be something that you can use to clean your chains in the future. Let's go check this out. First off, let's look at my chains. As you can see, here is one of my chains. Ooh. That one is dirty. It's been used a lot and it uh, needs a little TLC. There's plenty of room left on it to cut. It just needs some cleaning. Yeah, that's bad. And then this one, you see right here, it's in better condition, but you can see it's just got gunk on it. I don't know if there's just not enough oil getting to it or just some of the wood that I've been cutting or these chains have actually been just used quite a bit and they just need some cleaning up. That's probably more what it is. Okay, so you saw the status of my chains. Don't judge me. I don't know if they're bad or good. They're the two oldest chains that I have. They've... Here's the two things that I'm going to try from my first experiment. Simple green. So I'm going to let one soak in simple green. And then the other thing that I'm going to use is this WD-40 um, specialist degreaser. I'm going to try it. Let's see if it works. I'll give you my feedback on the results. And if they don't work, well, we're going to continue to figure out what is the best way to clean and soak your chains for, like, also a very cheap way, too, because, I mean, the WD-40 wasn't that expensive. The Simple Green was, like, four bucks. So I'm going to put them in buckets, let them soak overnight, and then I'll come back with the results and tell you what I think. All right, we're back. And so I have let my chains set for not fully 24 hours. I would say they probably set for, I don't know, I'll put them in at night and then... It's the next mid-afternoon of the next day, and I can definitely tell you the uh, the simple green is the way to go. This, honestly, this didn't really do good at all. The stuff is still kind of gunked on there. It doesn't brush off. I've been taking this, and I've been just pulling the chain out and brushing it off, and I'll show you kind of like, just use a, like, a soft uh, bristle brush, soft wire, or you can get like plastic tip, and after letting it soak in the simple green, this stuff just comes off so easily and just the chain looks so good um, I'm gonna rinse it off wipe it off and then just kind of wipe the gunk off with like a towel and uh, man the chains almost looking brand new uh, from when I got it I'll show you some close-ups of it but really all I did was dump it in the simple green let it set overnight and then come back with a wire brush and I'm just taking my chain and just pulling it and literally just doing this the gunk's coming right off the chain is looking good. No more of the pitch or resin that's on there um, or any of the other residue that was built up. And uh, I think this chain is going to be ready to go. I, I didn't even pull out the other chain that I soaked in this to show you just because it didn't do a good job. I actually just put it right in the bucket of the, the simple green that I had. So if you're looking for a great way to clean your chains, use simple green. Let it soak overnight. Come back with a wire brush. Just kind of brush it off. Then wipe it off with an old shirt, a rag, and then maybe uh, I'm going to take a paper towel, put a little bar of oil on it, and just kind of pull it through. That should be good to go. I'll let you know if, it, if I have any issues with that uh, moving on from there, but I think that would be a great way to clean your change, especially if you've used them for a lot for chainsaw milling. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. Again, I'm, I'll give you some footage of me just... Uh, scrubbing it with a brush and giving you the the finished product show you the last but anyways thanks the gunk just comes right off man it just man boom it just comes off i'm just hitting it with this cleaning my chain it looks really really good from there i'll do both sides of it i'm just coming along and man all that pitch and resin as you can tell is coming off of it no issues whatsoever all that nasty pitch stuff is coming off my chains looking shiny and good um, you can see like check that out you saw them earlier man it just comes right off after doing it so I'm scrubbing it nice and clean this will be ready to go so that I can resharpen it again too there, there's the clean stuff that I've hit with the brush 
And so I'm just taking a brush like this, hitting it. There's still some of it that needs to be wiped off, but man, you can tell as soon as I hit it. Oh man, look, it just comes off so easily. Something that seems to work is once I, you know, soaked it in simple green, pulled it off, put it on this thing, use this wire brush, then I took this like WD-40 degreaser stuff, put it in there, and all I've been really doing now is just swishing it around, and man, that chain is shiny and clean, and then I'm going to take it out, I'm going to kind of wipe it down, and then I'm going to hang it up, and let it dry, and then I'm going to sharpen that sucker, and uh, put it back to use. I mean, I ain't trying to make it perfect, but there it is, I mean, you don't see any, uh, any of that stuff down in there. Um, did a great job. I think it looks good. Hey, thanks again for watching today. If this video was helpful for you, please like, subscribe, all that thing. It really helps me out a lot. I really do want to have a consistent channel to help you as you are getting into saw milling, chainsaw milling especially. If you have any other comments or you've used Simple Green or you know a better substance to use to be able to clean your chains, please drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear what you're using to clean your chains. Anyways, hey, thanks again for watching. Until then, hey, keep sawmilling.